Welcome to Psychology Daily. We continue the week on cognitive biases and today I will tell you about conjunction fallacy. This cognitive bias is based on probabilities and that is why it is easier to show why it is leads to incorrect thinking. Let's start. Consider this example from Amos Tversky and Daniel Kahneman's study. Linda is 31 years old, single, outspoken and very bright. She majored in philosophy. As a student, she was deeply concerned with issues of discrimination and social justice and also participated in anti-nuclear demonstrations. Please rank the following statement by their probability using 1 for the most probable and 8 for the least probable. Linda is a teacher in elementary school. Linda works in a bookstore and takes yoga classes. Linda is active in feminist movement. Linda is a psychiatric social worker. Linda is a member of League of Women Voters. Linda is a bank seller. Linda is an insurance salesperson. Linda is a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement. Pause the video and take your time to rate them. The description of Linda was constructed to be representative of an active feminist and unrepresentative of a bank teller. What was the result? As expected, 85% displayed predicted order. Active in the feminist movement, over a bank teller and is active in the feminist movement, and over that she is a bank teller. More interestingly, statistically naive and subjects with more expertise in statistics show the same pattern. Here you can ask, but what is the problem with this order? The answer is that probability of being a bank teller is by definition higher than being a bank teller and being active in feminist movement at the same time. More than 80% of participants in their study fall into the trap of conjunction fallacy and rated probability incorrectly. That is what conjunction fallacy. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow.